Welcome back to 64 Bourbons Under $100, where we're on the quest to determine the best bourbon under 100 bucks. This is a compilation of episodes one through four from the $25 to $50 category. If you wanna see these in daily shorter content, you can find it on YouTube Shorts, our Instagram, and TikTok. Let's go. We're in the $25 to $50 category. This is Ooh. bourbon and A. Let's do it. Um, hold on. What was that? <laughs> nice. I like this nose. It is nose. nice. I, it's, I think it's got like a little bit of berry and orange. A little, yeah. And citrus, barrel. Some baking spice. It's good. A classic bit flavors. Fuller than I mm. was expecting. Yeah, pretty classic. All the things that I said on the nose the berry, a little bit of citrus, brown sugar, baking spices, a little bit of oak there on the finish. Yeah, a little bit of oak, a little bit of uh, fruit on the back end. Mm. And I don't know, it's coming off around. 90 to maybe 100 proof. I don't think it's real high proof. Just a touch of viscosity, maybe a little bit tannic on the finish, but I don't mind. Yeah, I like it. On to B. This is a little bit more grain forward on the nose, but not in a bad way and a little bit chocolatey. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more malt. Mm, I was gonna kind of say savory, a little bit of a savory nose. Mm -hmm. A little bit of earthy. Yeah. Oh, mm. this is a good matchup, it I is, think. It is, it is. This one might be a little brighter, maybe. I think both of these have a pretty good like this, a comparable level of richness between yeah, them. Uh huh. Both pretty classic <sighs> in their flavors. Hmm. There's a balance between the sweetness and like mm. an earthy, savory note yeah. on B. Uh, more chocolate, I feel like. It on this does one. have a little bit more chocolate. I'm liking that today. Who today. knows? Ask me tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And maybe if I had to guess, maybe this is a little higher proof. It does feel a like little. that, especially on the finish. Yeah. On a little finish. bit higher proof, mm. maybe. I got to do a quick back and forth. Yep. Revisiting. A, after having had B, does change things a little bit. It makes it come off a little bit lighter, which is okay, it still tastes mm -hmm. good. But I think I can see a few more of the flaws. Again, not bad, but those things that I maybe don't like as much in A, after having had B. What we call the flight fight effect. Mm. What do you think? I think B is a little richer. I agree. Not little Richard, it's a little richer. <sighs> oh, oh no, we lost Sarah. For these reasons, I think I vote B. I'm pretty confident in also voting B. Okay. All right, advancing is Bardstown Bourbon Company Origin Series oh, Bourbon oh. against Russell's 10 year. Whoa! This was such a good matchup, you guys. Well, we got it right. Um, B a little bit higher in proof over the Russell's 90 proof. 10 year versus a six year though. I wasn't sure how that one was gonna go. Uh -uh. Yeah, a 10 year versus wow. a six year. I'm wow. impressed, I'm impressed. Very impressed. <laughs> I gotta go think about it for a little while, but I, I like it. Mm, I think that busted my bracket a little. Oh, I think I, I picked this. I think you did, I think you did. Oh, okay. All right, well, there we go. We'll uh, see you tomorrow. Until then, drink more bourbon. All right, these are two random blind samples to us paired up by the seating, and we don't know what these are. Burnt peanut. Yeah, and like orange marmalade or something. I think it's got a sort of an outdoorsy, earthy, like grassy smell well, with also oranges. With also oranges. Mm -hmm. Orange translates to the palate. That's the first thing I get, like yeah. a spiced orange, like a dried orange. But there's also sort of that sort of um, burnt popcorn, mm. uh, especially on the finish. Burnt dry, outdoorsy feeling is what I'm getting, but I guess uh -huh. I could see a burnt popcorn. Yeah, second sip. I like the balance between the sweet and the earthy mm. with a little bit of spice. Mm. It has a decent mouthfeel. I, w I wish it was a little bit more right now, yeah. but we'll see, we'll compare it to B. I, I'm liking it more on the second sip. I get less of the burnt popcorn and more just barrel characteristic mm -hmm. and, and oak. B. The nose on this Ooh. one is way more up my alley. Yeah, it's a uh, fruitier nose here. I think this smells like a cake or breakfast bread, almost like fruit cocktail mm. cake. Yeah, a little frosting. But I'm kind of into it. <laughs> a little frosting there. That is a fruit cocktail but cake. But it has like dark barrel sugars also. And yeah. I like that. Very coating. You know, like when you have fruits and cakes and it, it gets all jammy and mushy. I know, no, that sounds gross, but it's good with, again, brown sugary barrel, nice barrel sugars, vanillas. It's a little hot and it's a little dry. It is both of those things, but I, I'm into it. Mm. Back to A. Hmm, I get more sort of whipped marshmallow now. Maybe it's s'more. Maybe that's that sort of that burnt. Campfire graham cracker Yeah, 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 yeah. But I got more fluffiness on it this time. This one is tough for me. I think they each have their merits. I mean, the finish on B, I feel like goes on for a lot longer. I do like 
the perception of more proof on mm -hmm. B. It is hot though. A little hot. Hard to talk after having a, <laughs> a mouthful of uh, bourbon B. I like it. I'm gonna give B my vote. I'm with you. Advancing is B, and bourbon B is early times bottled and bond, and it beat out Maker's Cast Strength. I'm not surprised by that. Wow. I really I like surprised. early times bottled and bond. Sure, but I also really like Maker's Cast Strength. I mean, same. And where was I getting nutty in Maker's Cast Strength? That's new. <laughs> well, that's another bracket that's busted. I think I had cast strength going I forward. think I did too. Yeah. But Ooh. hey, I don't mind to pay a little bit less for right. um, a larger size bottle of Early Times Bottled and Bond. I'll take it. It's true. Well, before we go any further, we want to pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get things like the Glen Cairns we're drinking from. T-shirts, hats, hoodies, bottle cut candles, and so much more coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where we release some exciting barrel picks, discounts on that merch, depending on what tier you're at, after the episode exclusives, and more. Okay, on with the episodes. Mm. A little nutty. I'm saying that a lot lately. This reminds me of like chocolate covered peanuts. Yeah, there's a syrupiness, syrup, syrupy sweetness. Pretty decent. More nutty on the palate. But lighter than yes, I was expecting. Lighter for sure. I think I was expecting more proof and more chocolate to come through based on the nose. Definitely getting more of that syrupy sweetness that you mentioned getting on the nose come yeah. through on the palate. This is B. Not a huge pronounced nose. No. It's gentle. Barrel in there, some wood characteristics. A little bit of a hint of dessert notes. Yeah. Oh, let's taste it. Interesting. Oh. It's kind of unique. Yeah, it is. It almost feels like it could could be crafty, but I feel like when people hear craft, they hear unsophisticated, and I don't think that that's true for this crafty one. Crafty in a grown-up way. Barrel, some earthy, mm -hmm. a little bit of spice, it's hint got, of cherry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got this twang in there that I can't really put my finger on. Oh. I think it is sort of a tart cherry. Got a little uh, heat on the back I end. I know. I'm a fan of the proof and those darker notes. I uh -huh, like that. Uh -huh. But I want to go back to A now that I've had this. Yeah, this is feeling around 100 proof to me. A is solid. It's just not really like a standout for me. Uh huh. It's good. I mean, it's quality. Feels like a good baseline, a good measuring stick for other things. Yeah. B does kind of have that crafty nose and that crafty palate. But I think it has more personality. I think it's undeniable that it has more to say. Has a peppery note. There's a little bit of herbal in there, mm -hmm. like a little bit of cherry. Yeah, this one's really close. I like both of them. I think you got to give it to who is bringing a little bit more to the table. Yeah. And it does kind of feel like, even though it's sort of in a out there crafty way, that it's B. Yeah, I, I agree. It does feel like also we've been choosing B a lot, but just to remind <laughs> you all at home, we don't know what these matchups are and we like move we the bottles them. around. So yeah. who knows what's what? It's right. a 50-50 chance, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. I'm going to also have to pick B. Advancing B is... New Riff. New Riff. I was kind of <gasps> thinking that. Hunter Proof. Hunter Proof. Got that. Yep. Oh no. Who Against beat out? Four Roses Single Barrel. Whoa. I did not see this one coming. Oh, that's another I did not. bracket busting selection. I like this New week. Riff a lot, but I did Ugh. not see that coming. It didn't scream Four Roses to me. No, sure didn't. I, again, it is a single barrel. It's a single barrel. So take that into account. Perhaps some single barrels are better than other single barrels. Again, not trying to explain this away. I just thought on this one, the New Riff really brought it. Yeah. We'll see how far it goes. Uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, drink more bourbon. Fruity. Ooh. Fruity, fruity. Fruity with uh, some, some earthy barnyard elements. Yeah, this one has more tropical fruit to it. Tropical like fruit. Melons, and... mangoes type of thing. Interesting. Mm. I want to know what it tastes like. I like the yeah. mouthfeel. I mean, sort of craft, mm. but there's it's an earthy. I see. I got a hint of it that time. I do think, yeah, a outdoorsy grain forward note mm -hmm. peaks in there a little bit. The first sip, I got more berry, okay. but with the oak influence, a decent mouthfeel. Yeah, that almost reminds me of like blueberry pancake topping. All right, B. Not that I just said blueberries. Maybe it's on my mind, but a blueberry note on the nose. Like a little bit of schnozberries. Oh, brighter. A little bit of a lemon tea. I'm not sure about this matchup. I like the more of the brightness on this one. 
that uh, lemon. Yeah, it's giving me more lemon note. blueberry. Uh huh. I don't know. It just tastes a little fresher, a little brighter. It's delicate. It has a little bit of a floral note to it. Uh huh. Fruity and floral. Actually, when I'm going back, I'm getting more floral. It's like a floral herbal lemon berry tea. I'm getting more of the citrus still, and B. And it hangs around. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. kind of like a, a herbal tea like Arnold Palmer lemonade thing. Back to A. See, I'm liking the nose better on this one now. It's more oat forward, grain forward. B maybe has a little bit more spice, a little bit more barrel influence. For me, I feel like B has a little bit more depth to it, a little bit more personality. There's more to dig into on B in terms of flavor notes. It's a little bit more interesting. So yeah, I'm not Vegas. gonna not pick it just so that I pick A. A would win, yeah. So I'll go with B. Yes, I, I agree. Advancing is B, and B is Eagle Rare on a beat out wilderness trail, um, the weeded bourbon, bald mm. bond. Like you were saying, like kind of more of the crafty sector. Yeah. I still, I really liked that, you know, earthy, nutty. I, it was just yeah. nice. I liked one was, it. This one was tough. I mean, you have a 10 year versus a bald and bond four year. <laughs> I'm just really surprised that the normal cherry notes of Buffalo Trace didn't carry through. Well, it was coming through one. as like that lemon berry. Yeah, it was more I lemon thought it was berry. lemon berry herbal tea, uh -huh. which is not how I usually describe Buffalo Trace products. Exactly. But, I mean, they're smaller it's in a batches. Blind side by side. Right? Yeah. Eagle mm -hmm. Rare can be smaller batches. So. Yeah. Oh, who knows? Absolutely. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, we hope to see you guys next time. Until then, drink more bourbon.